another young male, and I think he's coming out right now. All right. Well, this is Bismarck. Bismarck also came to us from the Pacific Marine Mammal Center in California. And you may know something a little bit different about Bismarck. He doesn't have any hind flippers. Now, we're not sure how he lost his hind flippers, but this is due to some sort of injury that he got while he was swimming in the ocean. And the Marine Ma uh, Pacific Marine Mammal Center rehabilitated him, and we're fortunate enough to have him here in Denver with us. Now, some of the most important behaviors we train here in Denver are what we call husbandry behaviors. And these are the behaviors that allow us to take the very best care of our sea lions. So these are the first behaviors that these two young sea lions learned when they got here to Denver. So for example, they're trained to show us those individual front flippers. Good job. That way we can look for any cuts or scrapes or anything else like that. In fact, we get a great look at their entire body. They'll lay down. Good. In this position, in the future, we'll be able to train things like to take their temperature, give them injections, and even drop blood samples. Now, although sea lions do typically swallow their fish whole, they do have some sharp cone-shaped teeth that they use to catch and hold on to their fish. And Nick is going to show you how they're trained to open their mouth. Bismarck hasn't learned this one yet. <laughs> all right. Now, all these behaviors really allow us to take the best care of our sea lions. Well, now they, we've talked a little bit about how they use their teeth because they need their teeth to catch fish. We'll talk a little bit about fish and the food that they eat. These guys can eat up to 50 pounds of fish a day. So there's a, they can eat a lot of fish, and they actually get quite a good variety here at the zoo. They get herring, mackerel, and capelin. So there are three types that they get here. They can actually eat up to 50 different types out in the ocean. So they can eat a whole different variety. And they eat kind of, some of the times, the same fish that we like to eat. And there's a great way that we can help out sea lions is by using what we call a seafood cart. We have a seafood cart at every one of our gift shops here at the zoo. And it just has some of the best choices when going to restaurants and grocery stores. It has the best choices to make when you're buying that those seafood items. And they're just they're caught in environmentally friendly ways. So it just helps out sea lions a lot. Right, Nick? Yes. That's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, some of you may be wondering, how do we train our sea lions? At first, we got to get our two sea lions back where they're supposed to be. And we train using what's called positive reinforcement, which means every time they do the correct behavior, they're going to get their fish reward. So, for example, they follow their trainer. <laughs> there we go. They're going to get a fish, and that lets them know they did the correct thing, and they will get their reward. Great job. Now, we do have some tools that we can use to help train. Now what we carry with us is what's called a target pole, and all of our sea lions are trained to touch their nose to this target pole. This is the very first behavior that they'll learn. Now once they know this basic behavior, we can actually use this target pole, and you'll notice that this mark will move to touch his nose to it. Good. And we train several behaviors this way. For example, that down he did a minute ago was trained by simply putting that target pole on the ground. Good. Now when he does this, you may hear me say the word good, or sometimes we'll blow a whistle and then let uh, Bismarck know he did the correct behavior and he's going to get that fish reward. Now anything can be used as a target pole. For example, that volleyball. <laughs> you think you can touch that volleyball over there, Bismarck? I think he's saying he can touch that ball. You guys think he can touch that target ball over there? That's pretty high. I don't know. So let's get him in the water. Let's see if we can get Bismarck to touch that target pole. In one second after he goes and says hi to his buddy over there. <laughs> Did we mention they are young? <laughs> All right, let's get Bismarck back over here. That ball is pretty high. I don't know if he can reach that, but he wants to try. So let's give him a try. Bismarck. All right, time out. <laughs> All right, and now I have the wrong sea lion. All right. <laughs> there he is. All right, we'll get Bismarck back over here. He just got a little bit confused on some of the training that takes place here. We've got to make sure that our sea lions know where they need to be. So it looks like he's in position. Let's keep an eye on that volleyball over there. Let's see how, how uh, Bismarck can jump. You ready, Bismarck? Let's see it. Oh, hey. Great job, Bismarck. Way to go. That is a brand new behavior. He just learned that last week. He did a great job. And as you can see, even without those high flippers, he can jump very high out of the water. Let's give him a hand. Bismarck did a great job. Way to go. All right. Well, since Bismarck did such a great job, I think he's going to get a little bit of a break.
Mitch is going to go ahead and take him in the back so he can have a break. And what we're going to do is we're going to take both of our sea lions inside here for just a minute and we'll come back out and we'll do some training sessions that will be off mic so that you guys can see kind of the process that we go through to train these guys, some of the behaviors that you saw today. So we're going to take Nick inside as well. They've done a great job for you today and we hope you guys enjoyed it. And we hope you have a great rest of your day here at the Denver Zoo. Say bye to everyone, Nick. Good job.